Good morning on this Saturday. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Hi, I'm Kelly. And uh, today we're going to address uh, something uh, that, that people have a mistake on. We saw this week, we didn't spend a lot of time on it, in Philippians 4.17, where he said, Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. And, and people say, Brother, you should have treasures in heaven, not treasures on the earth. Yeah, that's not quite what Jesus said. Jesus said, Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where thieves and rust and moths don't get at it. Don't lay it up here. And some people have taken that teaching of Jesus to say that in this world we shouldn't have accounts. Here's the problem, though. We are to have earthly accounts, okay? Uh, Philemon 18, Tyler. But if he has wronged you or owes you anything, put that on my account. All right, now some people go, well, Brian, he's talking about a ledger account. Do you understand accounts are accounts? Mm -hmm. Before the days of computer, you know what accounts were kept on? Ledgers, paper ledgers. That's why they were called accounting ledgers. They was called an accountant's ledger. When they had someone, and they'd say, I want to see your books. They were saying they wanted to see your account. You have a record of debits and credits that are to be received, dispersed, whatever. The modern banking system came in during the time of the Knight Templar because people in France and other countries in Western Europe, they would put money on deposit in their home country. They would get a letter written in Templar code and then they could travel with just enough pocket money to get to uh, Israel or some other part of, of that region of the Middle East. And then when they got there, they went to the Templars, they handed them that letter, and then out of the bank account that the Templars, the treasury had there, then they could get their full access to their money in that location. That was, a, that was the origins of modern banking, okay? But accounts have been around for a long time. Julius Caesar stayed in Gaul longer than he wanted to so he could make money on his war so that when he came back to Rome, he had money to go against the entire Roman Empire and all of the senators and consuls that had been voting against him. Okay? Accounts. Accounts can be good. Accounts can be bad. The people who manage them can be good. The people who can manage them can be bad. John 12, 6, Tyler. Uh, this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money box and he used to take what was put in it. All right. So this is about what person? Judas. Judas. Judas had what? Uh, the money box. The money box. The treasury. Mm -hmm. Jesus evangelistic ministries of Israel, Gemini, right? Gemini, right? Jesus, evangelistic ministries of Israel had money. Mm -hmm. How much money did Jesus's ministry have? Enough to have somebody to watch the money, enough for that person to be skimming off the top or maybe possibly even more than more. the top uh, and still be able to uh, go out at night and give money to the poor because apparently they had enough to keep giving. Jesus had so much money in his ministry that what Tyler just said, Judas was able to skim the till and still able to do late night benevolence because in John 13, when he leaves, the others are like, oh, he's going out to do benevolence. But almost always, how did Jesus send his disciples, Tyler? In pairs of two. Pairs of two. That means someone had been paired with Judas when they did all this benevolence. There was so much money in Jesus's ministry. So much money. No, brother, everyone was dirt poor. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. You're just recycling garbage from the Roman Catholics, the Presbyterians, and the Lutherans from five, six hundred years ago when they kept everybody poor. But Jesus, you ever read where it says that Jesus came to proclaim the year of Jubilee? You know what the year of Jubilee was? 
Do you remember what the year of Jubilee was? It was the year that they basically wiped everybody's slate clean, wasn't it? Yeah, they reset all the counters to zero and all the ancestral lands went back to all the families. <laughs> the, that that proclaim the good tidings of the year of the Lord, that was the that's the Hebrew way of saying in the New Testament to proclaim God's jubilee for the kingdom and everyone who's in it. So accounts. We'll pick this up a little bit more, but earthly accounts are fine for you to have. Don't trust in them because they can turn on a dime. We talked about that yesterday. So with that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Bye, Kelly. And uh, we bid you a good Saturday. Lord willing, we want to see you tomorrow. What time, Tyler? 9.30 for our Bible class, 10.30 for our worship service. All right. Live or on the live stream. We prefer to see you live if you live within a reasonable driving distance. And uh, But till then, have a great Saturday and join us again for an even better Sunday.